Uh, the so chill music again. We'll give you some exposition. The fellas and fillies you're trying to out booze, the monarchs. They uh -huh. were originally angels of the highest order, seraphim. They'd fly oh. around God's throne all day, tell him how great he is, and, and sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles, but anyways. One day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am, and decided they deserve some sort of, uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, hmm. led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation. And the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh, with a, uh, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because <laughs> the hamburger would get eaten fast. Did that? Ah, Does that I pressed the wrong button. God sounds like kind of a jerk, if I can say that. Peter. Hey, you can say whatever the heck fire you want about God now. It's one of the benefits of already being damned. But <laughs> don't judge him too harshly. People will kill the world before they give up air conditioning. And you think he's gonna share creation? No way. Ooh, Polyon and Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the monarchs, the seraphim, but... You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were all just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where, and what punishment they'd receive. Hmm. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Who was the first guy? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? <laughs> oh, everybody always asks, have you met Adam? Is he nice or a dick? Does he have Jesus abs? The asshole didn't even have a name. Guys, he was barely bipedal for Christ's sake. He would poop in his hand and throw it at monkeys. Which I mean, it's funny. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But still. Oh, that's, uh, disappointing. Anyways, after her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Astron now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono, uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get, like, a, like, like a retrial or something? No, oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. Okay, little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's yep, oldest already districts, been here. Founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the just let me, Hell, let me move. Are down the, just uh, let me go. Down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually, Supreme. All the rulings are final. A judicial system in Hell seems uh, somewhat... Place. Ow. What kind of cases would you Ooh, even see? Fingers. Already in hell. Well, probably like, probably like, uh, like nuns who stole bread for their dying, but racist no, pets. No, for like boys who kill their abusive fathers or women who kill their mother-in-laws. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot, the first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So how, how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. Not like it. Yeah, we'll see. Mr. Andy, have I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle, who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer? <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn. So, save the my-talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please. Could you, can you help? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not um, be afraid. Yeah. Sure. What, what do you need? The fuck you bless want. Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just... Uh, just straighten my hair a little. Mi madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. 
as you can see, I am bound so I cannot reach my head. Uh, please, it is a kindness I would cherish through my soul. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off, is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deal. But I am not so inventively rude. Please, by helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. All right, fine. There. Your, your madre would be proud. Or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. Yeah. Thanks. I'm going to get shit from uh, Wormhorn about that, aren't I? More than likely. I had an interesting uh, thought. Yeah, what up? You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Good God, I hope not. I don't need people knowing how many times I looked up how to spell banana. If that's <laughs> your floor, I think you'll be okay. The sealed knot. I think this is the place. Hmm. Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. <laughs> I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve. Uh, listen, bouncer guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, uh, foot hands. Yeah. Oh, right this way, sir. I get it. Okay, so, I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. And I feel like I might have broken through to the other side. Good God, Milo, just say it. I promise not to make fun of you. Cross my heart, hope to... G whatever. I'm assuming okay, I have to go this way. I have your word. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, so, so all we need ah, to do is put together a costume slash disguise. Yep. And then we come back here and stroll right going past the right this way. uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon. So, so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah. Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. Almost as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea what won't is up get here? ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I was trying to... Let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just uh, hey, thinking so maybe. When you told Sam about how I was going to work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you... Uh, I don't know. You, you didn't seem... Uh, well, you did seem a little... Like... I, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Oh, geez, I need like a thesaurus. Uh, did I sound happy for you? Because I am. I'm happy as a damn the clam you're staying this? behind to build breakaway furniture for magician wrestlers. Yeah, you really sound clam happy right now. I mean, you're just... It's just weird, because you're the one that's moving. Uh, I'm staying in town. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel, like, betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. I'm just living my life, Milo. Or living my truth. As my aunt would say, mostly when she wanted to wear her bra as a belt. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was yeah, just Yeah, just your, stop talking because when you talk, I, I can't do well, shit. neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsauce, so get fucking frosty. There we go. Thank you. At least I got to see what was over here. Because when you talk, I can't do things. The unchased crater. Says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, hmm. it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it unchaste because God was being rude. Hmm. 
The sign says that giant door is the the 87th propyleum to the nine circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockro to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockro. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. <laughs> the Karma Magistratus, the Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about... No, it's a one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup huh? body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. What's this? I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzel Fow, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. I'm not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve <laughs> lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... Oh, you selfish little pricks! You'll <laughs> shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit. Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone quickly your dress it's so i've just never seen this fabric before and it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse ah what an eye you have the fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse you okay, can only gross. acquire it through mazoku rituals or thursday night specials of course for this you'll need to sell your love for lutzelfrau's treats good my dear give me uh just give me your least disgusting piece of crap uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good catch. Nom nom nom. Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola-bellied rats? Do you, my dear? Yeah, dog. This is a fucking bomb. Ooh. Hey, that idiot <laughs> tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get some candy. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Oh, yes. Come on. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay. Now, the dress, if you please. Give us the the dress, you. Oh, God. Mm. What was I born? Okay. <laughs> Follow Lutzelfrau and smile, dipshits. You're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume. Who's gonna be the head and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, yeah you're like way <laughs> taller, aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate oh, I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Oh god damn well, it, Milo. I was Milo. for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Perfect. Ta -da! I'll be honest. I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. <laughs> okay, well, All right, I got what I needed. Shoulder so much, it's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're... Uh... Not that easy to carry. Hey, it's not too late to switch, okay? If little mister, of course I'm fine with it. Of course I'm cool with it. Of course it's too late, and I am cool with it. If a demon sees us change, it's... We're screwed, so let's... I'll press on. We're pressing on. Just... Okay, pressing on. Easy. Just stop humping my neck. Stop humping your neck. Just stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Okay, just forget it. 
Tally ho, tally, tally fourth. Let's just get to the ball. Okay, let's get to Polly. We. I'm assuming there might have been like multiple ways for me to do this. I probably could have gotten something from the uh, from Ono's bar or some shit. Because there was that place where you could buy a hat and whatnot. Who knows? Who knows at this point? There's multiple ways to do everything. We're meeting Apollyon in there, footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Of scale like a camel. Perhaps you know yes. Andrelfus. Andy, he is my handler. Shut your pie hole, human. Before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. Oh, my apologies. Scusi. Uh, but you, you sound very familiar. Coincidence. No. Okay. 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 You guys are all set. She's in the back. Move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. I like that he's the totally okay with it. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Good man. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> get ready to see some wild shit. Let's hope so. I do like that there's like demons walking in the in the foreground. We need to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demons guts can't speak. I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. <laughs> what are you saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all oh, right, dick. Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Oh, oh. The, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. Hi, uh, mind, if, mind if we... Smell that? Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a uh -oh. human's gut line. Lola, let's not. I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. Hey, uh, he who smelt it dealt it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, and he who denied it supplied it. So where you been washing your fucking nuts, buddy? And he who revealed it healed it. So enough, Gerald, calm down. Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the scars. My Mephistopheles <laughs> beard, this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today I'm the, stuck debating the rotten why? motors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill tempered, spiteful, it by thesaurus. You buy it, thesaurus. So, just out of curiosity, what did this bar used to be like then? Oh, crazy. Crazy. Uh, go ahead. It was crazy. Sex, drugs, and classical music by trained multi limbed chimerical beings. I mean, we <laughs> still have the Chamber of Coitus, but what's a Chamber of Coitus without a Sphinx on piano? All right, I'm going to reload. Anybody want another? Oh, let's see. Um. Do I want to be witty or do I just want the courage? I'll be witty. Um, one grand exhibitionist for me. Please. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, newly counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone... No one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. My name's Lutzelfrau. Lutzelfrau? Really? Oh, you're a witch, right? 
Ah, I think I've heard of you. She's the one that makes pies out of kittens and washes her clothes in, uh, what, what was it? Feces. Ah, oh, feces, right. Let's <laughs> all I'm a total recipe hound. Tell me, what's your secret ingredient for those candy apples again? Oh, yes, please, indulge us. They help out my mother's cooking, I'll tell you that much. Well, as you say, it's a secret, so... Yeah. It really stay that way if I told you, would it? God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. <laughs> Look who it is. Gerald, I'd like you to meet Lutzel Frau. Ah, the Witch of the Black Forest. Nice to meet you. So anyway, Lori stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster <laughs> didn't show up for her ship this morning. So guess who had a butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax and keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Lutzel Frau? I was just about to ask the same question. Oh, where do I work? You know, I, uh, I had to call out sick this morning because of an eye problem. I couldn't see myself working today. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you got me. That was Hell yeah. Okay, one. Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. <laughs> Wait, guys, Polly isn't our... <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, yeah, you might be a little the bit. Cock of the walk. I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately. Something secretive. But, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no. Go on about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? I think he's Dutch. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just, uh, Lucifer's been, oh, well, hell hasn't been a source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know hmm. it, and I think, I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can oh. read between the lines here. I'm following. Wait, wait, wait. Polly wants to run hell? Why the fuck would anybody want to do that? Oh, I don't know. The publicity, the fame, the hedge fund managers sacrificing hookers to you every day. And you know, it's horrible to say, but she has a good heart. And hell doesn't have to just be about what went wrong. It could be about hmm. other things, too. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse opens soon. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. All right. Interesting. He successfully pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. That's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup, right? I know I shouldn't get um, whoa, excited this. about it. We took a turn somewhere because, oh, gross guys. What was going on? Um, I can't see. It smell like my grandmother's basement. Man, thank um, God I'm on top. Your delicate sensibilities could not have handled this much. No. Lying um. is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, Meow. about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone hmm. says God is a humorist. But what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy <laughs> to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree? Lutzelfrau? Oh, certainly. No, I couldn't agree more. Humans are the worst. That's is that, that's what you were saying. Damn it. Oh, oh God. My knees are gonna be angry at me tomorrow. Hey, you, you sorcerer! You turned me, a demon, into two separate adorable human beings. You're Lola <laughs> and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne. The king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. Hmm. A drink! 
But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, Your, Your Honor, we just want your seal, okay? We, we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell. Yes, we'll, we'll forget all about all the stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. <laughs> Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Yes, they... they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story, correct? Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne yeah, what story? in his wisdom, but yeah. only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manor defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight, and will lie more. To annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. God damn it. Uh, um, how? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the public defender's <laughs> office. Uh, seriously? Yes. Um... Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? That, what? Yeah, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, that's happening. You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Lutzel Frau. Damn and it. as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? Hmm. You want us to take a dive? In so many words. No. For which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. Wow. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, Damn it. All right. Andy. Ready? I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh brought up to speed they'll learn on the go it's fine they're professionals professional is what they are <laughs> if you say so already <laughs> hands and feet inside the cart at all times please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat and see you on the other side kids dude stop meowing um um you uh you want to get in on this no sent you to the wrong Carpal tunnel, whatever. Sorry about that. There we go. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting. Jesus. The toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now my record speak for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> <laughs> and for the defense. Such a uh, jokester. Slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and Wetzelfrau. I need a drink. Yeah! Hair, yeah. <laughs> hair! Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill gotten sense of self worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. Uh. Uh... I'll have a double tongue, please. Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Oh, Hell yeah. Dokey, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts manor to possess in like two sunrises. <gasps> All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tidavillas. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? 
Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh shit, this is ours. I mean, it's the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Jesus wow, Christ. Another open and shut case. Stop blunting the axes. No, what the hell? No, you, you, Your Honor, we know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client, Roberto Spaghetti, is innocent of all charges. I... we'd like to hear Roberto's side of things. Yeah, whoever said that, that's really smart. Mr. Spaghetti? I was born in a very small, very humble town in the Belgian province of West uh, France. Okay. Master. I just want to say that I never meant anyone any harm. I only wanted a house sitter for my cat, Huey. Named after Huey Lewis, my favorite musician from New York. And the warlock I hired deceived me for his own villainous scheme of dastardly revenge. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty. I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his character, yeah, for I'll his pace too. that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we? Do we really? He Yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago. And he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you? No, I, I heard Roberto confess just earlier tonight. <gasps> oh my god. Well, whoever said that must know something. <laughs> Who said that? That's impossible. Roberto's an innocent man. Counsel, nah. do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes... That confession is a forgery, Your Honor. I, I, I watched Andy trace the warlock's signature from his uh, driver's license. Boo! What? <laughs> I wouldn't. Bailiff. Sorry, Charlie. Lots permitted in the courts. You know that. We all know that. I mean, we are in hell, but... Forgeries are for absentee landlords trying to prove they don't speak English. It's beneath <laughs> the eyes of Minos and beneath this tribunal of karmic distribution. But... Yeah, see ya. Any other evidence? Never mind. Shot clock expired. Case number 899. The city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. The court of karma magistratus finds you. Guilty. <laughs> oh dear. Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately remanded for processing in the morning. Yay. Oh shit. Thanks everyone for coming out tonight. The high courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok. <sighs> no pump sneakers. Pump up your life with Reebok. Bye. <laughs> Fucking sponsors. I don't feel good about what we just did, Milo. Sending Roberto to hell? That we should have just rolled the dice there. Maybe tried working another monarch. I don't know. Uh, remember what I said when we pushed that kid into the koi pond on Black Friday? It was our only way out. It was our only way out. Yes. Look, Satan said we had to get these seals, and so that's what we're gonna do, no matter what it takes. I just wish I didn't have to see his face when he. When he realized he wasn't getting acquitted. Yeah, well. What can you do? I don't like that it didn't just teleport us back to the bar. Because now I gotta run all the way back. Milo? Lola? Uh, no. Yeah, it's you. Your immediate presence is requested. And this ain't a request. Mm. Go to first okay. answer right now. She's waiting for you at the school you're scrambling. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, okay. guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal. Sure. I guess. Do, 
do 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 do. Uh oh. I mean, this game is still pretty recent, so I guess I, I can understand some of the, some of the glitches and such. Because there weren't really a lot of like updates for it. Who knows? I forgot which one I was playing. Uh. Yeah, where is she? Whoa! Oh. Interesting. Where's Sam? What should we do? Should I try and climb in front and like steer? Not that I want to, but I'm. Nervous of careening into like an evil buoy or something. No, no, no. Sam will definitely help us. She has to have like a uh, remote well, way to remotely control this thing. Mm, why does she have to have that? Um, because it's magic? <laughs> Dude, the way you dress, it's like you're trying to look pregnant. Wait, who's that? Shh. <laughs> She's just practicing for college. What was the. You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't oh, need it's... boyfriends. Yeah, I'll get a boyfriend after It's Wormhorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's my turn. Right you are, Lola. It's your turn. Oh, you are so very introspective. So self-aware. You're like one of those losers that starts to get depressed and then runs online and posts about how they're starting to get depressed and how it's okay to get depressed. Everyone should know out there in La La Land that it's okay if they're depressed. Leave Lola alone, Wormhorn, okay? She doesn't have the inner strength like I do to handle it. That's not what I meant. I'm sorry, I, you're so much stronger than I am physically and intellectually. I don't know why I said that. Wormhorn. You know, I bet your sisters would be really proud of you, Lola. Nina, Sarah, Dinah, they would be, oh, they would be really impressed. First, you befriend a dead rock star who once drank a fishbowl of laundry detergent on a dare. And then you outparty a monarch of Hades Apollyon. That's really something. I wonder what those fleshy kins people of yours would say. Who cares? Jesus, doodle, are you ever gonna get a car? Or are you still throwing away your money saving dolphins or something? Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still. You don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? All right, who the hell cares what Lola's sisters think about her now, Wormhorn? Hey, I don't care about anything except doing an excellent job excellently. She's the one that cares what her sisters think. No, I don't. At least, not as much as I like, used to. Hmm. Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. And lived in Detroit with three daughters who would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion, too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner at Pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. Also, Lola knows that none of this is it's about... It's fine, Milo. It's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. Hmm. It's like it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> Why? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal psyche. Okay, we're hmm. She's got her film, I think. Uh, like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the Almighty, in uh, fate. 
Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Yeah, I don't know if Wormhorn deserves a spirit acting award or anything, but your sisters sound like morons. They are morons. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows hmm. civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because I can at least do that, Wormhorn, okay? I can care. I, I can care even when I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family. And you gotta care about them because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, really. Oh, really? Yes, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the hmm. tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Sam. Oh, God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this code so close to hell, then? Ugh, fine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> and uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car. So, sorry. Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do you think it back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world building? You know? What? So, Ooh. you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back to the strangler. Apollyon is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Lola. And then Satan, and then home. Well, I hope so. Alright, he got quiet now. No one's saying anything. Should I be noivous? Oh, it's just still loading. There we go. 